Let's get down on some lettering, shall we? <laughs> hey, this is Jason, Sick Made Airbrush, and coming at you guys. Hey, man, welcome you guys to another episode. What's happening, you guys? Hey, man, this is Line Control Part 2. So I'm going into this project. I'm just going ahead and getting started, man. And um, this is I'm doing a more advanced lettering style. And um, just want you guys to understand, you know, just to try to get clean lines and straight lines as best as you can when you're freehanding. So, you know, it's 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 a different story when you draw on, on your surface and or on the t-shirt like I'm doing now <clears throat> and draw it in with a pencil or something like that. You have something to follow. So, you know, when you're doing it freehand like this, man, you just just sketch it out like how I'm doing here. Just sketch it out real light. I'm using black and I'm just soft spraying, just sketching it out, just like you would on a on a sketchbook pad with a pencil or anything like that, man. So I'm just using this at, at, like that. So, you know, just sketching it real, real softly and then getting it, all my points in. So where I'm going to go ahead and roll in with my hard points. And usually when I'm doing advanced lettering like this, guys, uh, you know, I start out with the middle letter or close to the middle letter, you know what I mean, and um, get those, get that, that letter that mid that middle letter centered and then go from there just like how i just did um that's just that's when you're doing lettering like this and also these are big letters you know what i mean uh, i'm filling in this shirt so that's i like going big and and, and you know filling up the shirt as much as i can man so get the you know so the customer gets the their money's worth all right so <clears throat> line control guys you know um it's all about you know just having lines that are you know straight and even um when i do the outline and whatnot and um and yeah and just just keep it rolling like that guys you know just you don't want to muddy up your project guys and the the way I, why i say muddy is because if you if you do your lines and, and you spray you know two three inches off the surface you're gonna get a lot of overspray a lot of overspray so that's what clogs up not clogs that's what muddies up your image right or your lines right so try to get in there when you <clears throat> when you're doing your hard lines just like right here i'm usually like a half inch or an inch or so away and um and just make your lines like that man and, and just get them as tight as possible and try to make them as even as possible you know it's not always gonna be perfect guys we're not perfect you know i mean lines aren't gonna always be the same thickness but try to do your best at it man all right so yeah let's just roll with it man let's um continue with this process let's go i wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow feel like it's gonna be a bad day yeah, i'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet damn ain't that great i don't want to go to work because my boss is a jerk and i'm not even that paid I need a change in my life Cause I don't feel alive And there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning Oh, And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all I want you guys to notice um, When I'm doing outlining like this on lettering guys or even or anything else you know i like to start from the bottom and go up from point a to point b right um that's my preference um i can see the line a lot better when i'm going up and um i think it turns out a lot better and a lot straighter um than going in blind from you know going from down to up down to uh, from up to down i can't even talk right now <laughs> But yeah, man. So just just take notice on that, guys. Uh, it's preference, but um, if you guys could work from the bottom and go up, I think you have more better results. I do a little bit of both, but most of the time, I like to start from the bottom. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm a bit nervous that I might screw everything up that I've ever done. But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that, my miss. Gotta find what I'm good at. I guess I look here, look there, over where am I scared, where am I at? I gotta make it in this life, whatever makes me happy, know I'm doing things right Sipping in the summer on a goose and Sprite, or we'll find a nightclub for the end of the night, oh And we all got dreams, we all want things Watch this line right here I'm gonna make on this ass You gotta commit, I committed from top to bottom guys, so just remember that too 
got to commit your lines, man. So wherever you go from point A to point B, just commit to it and, um, you know, just make it right. thing i want to mention guys if, if you know you're going to do fill-ins on lettering like this you know the you're you're basically just straightening up everything um when you're filling in so your lines i knew half of this wasn't going to be filled in so <clears throat> my bottom half was going to fill in and, and then that's when basically i could go in and straighten everything up that needs to be straightened up on the bottom end of it so just remember that guys One thing I want to mention, guys, and I mentioned this in my past video, my last video, um, you know, don't you don't want to go over your lines. So whenever you do the outline, man, don't try not to go over it and over it again, man, because you're going to you're going to end up making your lines a lot thicker than they need to be. And, and that's another reason why, you know, I, I blast my paint. That's why I use high pressure uh, and I use my bottom feet on, on stuff like this, man, because. You know, you go in there and you're blasting at 65, 70 PSI or even higher, you know, you're getting that paint in there into that surface, into the shirt, right? So you don't need to worry about constantly going in there and, and going over your lines, man. I'm going to tell you, man, you guys go over your lines and go over your lines. You're going to end up muddying up your image and, and you're going to end up putting too much. Your lines are going to be uneven. So just be careful with that. Hey guys, I just want to mention real quick. I know uh, I do a lot of Raiders um, images and, and lettering um, <clears throat> videos on the Raiders, man. So I just want you guys to know that I'm not being biased. I am a Raiders fan, but um, I get, <clears throat> you know, I do a lot of uh, Raiders stuff for customers, man. So I get hit a lot on Raiders stuff. So, and, you know, like I told you guys before, man, in my previous videos, you know, all my stuff is based off of customer stuff. So, you know, this is a customer uh, T-shirt I'm doing, and um, yeah, uh, just wanted to mention that, man, real quick. Don't I'm not being biased, like I said. You know what I mean. So don't click off the the video just because it's uh, you know, uh, the Raiders. And if you don't like the Raiders, man, I don't even watch football anymore, man. I don't pay attention to football no more. <clears throat> so this is not about me being that way. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> right back into this, man. So I'm highlighting this with some white i'm outlining the white with some white right this is preference guys you know what i mean i could have stopped here and been done with it and actually when i went into this i go you know what i should have just stopped and not even did that um <clears throat> but this makes this the image pop a little bit more um it, again it's this preference you know if you want to outline it with some white um go deep with the white you know if you're going to do it and, and remember you're going to have clean clean lines when you're outlining too man so just be careful when you're, um, you know, I'm not perfect. You can see some mistakes in here, man. It's not perfect, um, but you want to you want to make them as straight as possible and outline it um, the inside as good as possible. All right, man. So we about finished.
Okay, you guys, that about does it for this video, man. I kind of just went in there and just going, just going to town. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. But the overall is, is lettering, obviously. And um, I picked a font out on the internet, and I kind of dumbed the font down. It, this one had a lot more scrolls in it. Um, but like I always say, man, what you see, you could draw. But also, what I also want to tell you guys, and I also put this in my other videos, man, and I'm pushing on this, you don't have to make it exactly like it, guys. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be exactly like it. So just make it your own and uh, and just do your thing with it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I this had a lot more scrolls in it, and, and it was it was funky. But I just I like the style of, of the lettering, so I just dumbed that lettering down. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And it turned out really good. So I'm happy with it. You know what I mean? So something you go and, and you pick out, man, you know. These are advanced letters, guys. These are advanced letters, so you know, pick a letter that you could do, and then work your way up to those those um, more advanced lettering like this. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but overall, man, I thought it turned out pretty good. I hope you guys got something out of this, guys. You know, I push on freehand, guys. So if you're new to my videos, I want you guys to get out there and freehand and do your thing and have fun doing it, man. That's what it's all about. Um, well, that's about it guys so if you guys have any questions or anything like that man put some comments down below man you know I, i'm free to talk airbrush airbrush all day long man so that's what it's all about man i'm here to push you guys you guys help me out you know by me doing this for you guys man so you know what i mean so i just want to put some more content out there for you guys and 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 try to push more on the freehand side of things and get you guys to do that you know what i mean but this is what i do this is what i love to do and and I know you would love to do it if you constantly just practice every day. You know what I mean? So, and, and get it going, man. And that's what it's all about, guys. Let's just uh, see you till next time. All right, guys? Thanks a lot. Peace.